What's up y'all, it's Timmy. And today we're going four wheeling out in the Colorado mountains on the Alpine Loop Trail. So sit down, buckle up, and here we go. Welcome to Truck House Live, baby. We just left Golden Colorado slash Denver area and we get about a four hour drive to get to Lake City, which is where we're going to start the Alpine Creek Loop Trail, which is supposed to be an incredible four wheel drive trail. And uh, I don't think people do it with uh, full size truck campers very much, but we're gonna go check it out. Oh my God, Ugh, we're getting the smoke again, if you guys can see it out there. So I'm going to be doing engineer pass. I'm gonna take the slightly easier route which is still not easy in a truck camper. And so I'll be uh, starting in Lake City and going up the mountain to Engineer Pass. And right after I go over Engineer Pass, instead of cutting down towards Ure the normal way, I'm gonna hang a left towards Silverton and head out of the trail that way. And it's supposed to be a little bit easier, a little more reasonable. Although uh, truck campers, you're not really supposed to take uh, truck campers on it, but we're gonna do that anyway. We're officially dropping down into the town of Lake City. I guess Brian's up here chilling in the, uh, the town park. <laughs> Good to see you riding again. <laughs> God damn it. This is a 20. Yes, good to meet you, man. Good yeah. Enjoy your videos. Have yeah, right on. Well, cheers, man. Hi. Enjoy the road. The GoPro's got like 10 minutes of space left on. I gotta dump it really quick. No, that's cool. Hey, I'm up on the video right now. So if you want to chill here for a bit, they got the world's best ice cream shop right down here, San Juan Soda. I'm gonna, get a, I'm gonna go get a big old waffle pan. Oh yeah? Sounds like a good idea. So we got Brian here behind me. He's gonna rally out some of the trail, but he has reservations to Orvis Hot Springs. So he's not gonna keep rolling with me. So I'm gonna be solo in this one, but it's all good. That was cool. Brian and I went into a little uh, tourist ice cream shop to get ice cream and a shake. And uh, this old couple started talking to me about the camper and they bought me a, a vanilla malt. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna follow Brian on the first little part of this trail and uh, and he's gonna split off and. I'm going to continue up over the pass and he's going to go soak in a hot spring. Here we are, Engineer Pass, we're doing it. We're just good right next to the sign. 65 pounds of air, start letting it out. We're going to air down, it's, uh, I think the road's like 65 miles long or something, about. Yeah, so we're going to bring these tires down from 65 PSI to probably 35, maybe 40 I guess, this thing's heavy. I don't know a ton about Engineer Pass, but I do know the first part of it near Lake City is pretty smooth, nice and wide here. Eventually we're gonna start climbing up and it's gonna narrow up a good bit and turn into four wheel drive territory. The first few miles of this drive, we're just rolling up this uh, river canyon here. River's right there. And what I've done, I actually reset my odometer right at the Engineer Pass trailhead sign. So um, I'll be able to kind of give you guys an idea of where the obstacles are and uh, what the trail's like as we're rolling along at certain mile points. Right now we're about two miles in, still nice, pretty smooth dirt road, occasional potholes, still nice and wide. about 5.6 miles into the drive and uh, you can tell it's getting a lot uh, I wouldn't even call them potholes anymore there's like roads just kind of starting to fall apart a little bit
Brian went about seven or eight miles in with me and uh, he just turned around and it's about to start climbing up in the pass here pretty shortly. So we're rolling solo. I've never seen any of this. Um, I know there's a bunch of switchbacks that get steep and then we're gonna try to camp out way up in the high country where it's gorgeous. So that is my plan tonight. But check out these fall colors, man. They're all starting to turn. Perfect timing out here. Absolutely gorgeous up here. It's pretty wicked. up in mile 11 right now pretty much after three miles in it started to get not rough but definitely really bouncy especially with a truck camper and now it's just like pretty much cobblestone road it's been with little patches of dirt yeah it's been pretty rough road with a camper you're gonna be maybe five miles an hour or most of it every now and then you get up to like maybe 10 in between all the boulders and stuff. Mile 11.1, we've reached the first, I'm gonna call it an obstacle, I guess. Pretty much a washout landslide avalanche path. You can tell the road's all wide, then it gets really narrow. But it's all right. We got it. I'm just gonna set this up for fun. We reached the point of no return. I gotta lock the hubs. Why have we reached the point of no return? Because uh, it's about to get steep and switch backy, and uh, there's also that. Let's do it. This is where the climb begins, I believe. The four-wheel drive vehicle only sign was at a uh, mile marker 13.1 on my odometer into the trail. We are at mile 13.7 and there's a little cutoff in the road here for uh, Golconda Mining Complex, I guess. Down the hill, I don't know what's up down there. See all the switchbacks. Road's getting rougher for sure. Mile 14.1, looks like we're starting to break out onto the Alpine Tundra, getting like just almost above tree line. Cool. Looks like we're actually crossing the creek now. Cool. Just getting interesting. Yeah, just setting up a camera. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, y'all. A little nervous. Uh, I'm sure this looks really mellow on camera, but it's actually pretty, uh, pretty weird. Let's do it.
it's got my adrenaline going. Yeah, I mean, like, that probably looks so mellow to you guys. It's pretty, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's like pretty off camber, and then there's a cliff down there, and it's really holy and stuff. Nice. She just walked right up it. I'm like, this is the first like true four wheeling I've done with this truck camper, like consequential four wheeling. So, and I've done a lot of rock crawling in my past, uh, building samurais and stuff, but this is a whole nother monster when you get a really heavy camper and an 8,000 pound truck. This is 10,000 pounds to set up. So it's no joke. You can't just walk around stuff like everyone else. Continue on, here we go. Oh, and that obstacle is mile 14.5. Mile uh, 14.6, we just went through some pretty tight switchbacks for this thing, but I made it through with one three-point turn. Now it's getting a uh, high exposure and a little bit off camber. Here we go. Oh yeah, I'm loving this super low gear on the diesel. It's a lifesaver right now. Woo! I'm telling y'all, man. <laughs> This probably looks really mellow, but man, with a camper, that's just a whole nother ball game rock crawling up this stuff, especially with a cliff. Oh, we're getting there though. I mean, I'm assuming this is the pass somewhere up here. Whew. This is mile marker 15.4. So we've just started running into a lot of obstacles. Whoever tells you this is just a dirt road, I'm taking the easy way. It's not just a dirt road. So keep that in mind. Unfortunately, guys, the wind is just howling out here. It's knocked the GoPro over three or four times. And the drone, I just like cannot fly it. It's just too freaking windy. Looks like there's a sharp switch back here though. That was a switchback, I don't know how many, losing count. Absolutely beautiful up here. I bet the skiing and snow machining is awesome. I think we're getting towards the summit. Whew. Getting there surely, but slowly. Nice ride. Nice ride. Okay. Hey. That's an awesome set. Oh, thank you. That looks a lot safer. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, how fun. Yeah, y'all too. Enjoy. Uh, all I've seen is Jeeps up here. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Uh, maybe that's why there's just Jeeps up here. All right, let's see here. That is a rock ledge, ladies and gentlemen. We need to get lined up for this really good. <laughs> I'm gonna go right up here. 
And I'm actually kind of nervous. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. That made me nervous. <laughs> that was literally a rock wall. <laughs> whoever, whoever said this is just a dirt road has no idea what they're talking about. Anyhow, I guess we're getting there. <laughs> we have arrived to the, to almost the summit, it seems like. It is beautiful up here. Looks just like a Hatcher Pass in Alaska. Really similar, just super high alpine. The wind is probably blowing, I'd say a solid 25, 30 miles an hour right now. It's like, it's it's blowing. We up here. Woo! We up here, yo! Ow! Oh, that's a camping spot. Yeah. Well, bad news, y'all. The drone, I don't know, the wind was just too much and just grabbed it and smashed it in the ground. I just broke my drone. So you guys aren't gonna get the epic summit, summit reveal shot or anything, but here's the summit up here. Guess what, guys? We just made it up Engineer Pass. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Oh, that feels good. I think the backside, there's some steep stuff, but I'm going downhill, so it shouldn't be as bad. I don't know if I want to drop down this side or just camp up here tonight. I almost just want to camp up at the summit. It's super windy up here, though. You know what, though? That looks like a nice parking spot. We could camp right there. It's like just about perfectly kind of level. Gorgeous. Yeah, boy. <laughs> This is the biggest obstacle. Here we go. It's almost dark. I gotta get down it. It's a switch back to you. And it's tippy right down here. And I just came down this crazy rock ledge. Hopefully the GoPro caught it. I gotta get turned around. crazy. I just came, you can't tell, but came down the rock ledge right there. Man, guys, I have not been capturing this, but this has been freaking gnarly coming down these switchbacks. I don't fit down to any of these, and uh, it got dark on me. This is the widest one, literally like the widest one. This one's actually not bad at all compared to the other ones. Yeah, there's, uh, I mean, this is the mellow one. Woohoo! We made it to the bottom of the switchbacks, Alpine Loop. So to the right goes, I don't even know where, the left. I don't know where that goes either, but I know this is the upper Animus River, I believe. All I know is we need to go towards that river valley and follow that out towards Silverton. So when in doubt, trust river valleys if that goes towards the town. That's what I'm doing. Bottom of, uh, whatchamacallit, pass, engineer pass. Nice and toasty in the camper. Nice moving out tonight. It's really windy and really chilly. So, 
as you can see I'm doing a little video editing working on the Burning Man video so I'll catch you guys in the morning uh, this is gonna sound really weird guys but uh, I haven't been able to breathe too great all night and uh, at 4 o'clock in the morning I woke up and just like could not sleep I just kind of feel short of breath and then I realized like oh yeah I'm in like around 12,000 foot elevation and I live in Alaska at 17 feet above sea level so couldn't sleep just feel like I can't breathe too well so I'm actually like driving down the mountain I'm gonna work down to a lower elevation four o'clock in the morning down this off-road trail working our way down there's definitely still some obstacles I just went off a pretty big rock cliff back there and a bunch of tippy off camber stuff I'm working my way down to the animus forks we have reached the forks so cinnamon pass goes off to the left up this really steep looking hill you can't even really see it and there's a big ditch right there that's probably three or four feet deep looks like nothing right now we're gonna go straight just right of that ditch Like I was saying, this uh, trail is no cakewalk. All right, now we got the next fork in the road. At least there's signs. The Silverton Strait Animus Forks is off to the right. I'm just gonna go straight ahead here. We made it down into the River Canyon. I think this is the North Fork of the Animus. I don't want to say it's worse, but uh, yeah, it's definitely not smooth yet. Still definitely kind of crawling along. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm at mile marker 22.2 and. I'm down in the canyon still, but there's a lot of trees around me now and the road's just now starting to kind of smooth out a little bit. It's still chunky and cobblestone -y, but it's much smoother than it was. Oh my God, I just saw that road closed ahead sign and I almost panicked and I realized it's probably that road off to the right over there. Whew, that scared me. <laughs> and mile marker 22.7, we just hit kind of what seems like the parking lot where people unload four wheelers and all that, like the staging parking lot. We're back on the pretty much what looks like a dirt road now, going towards Silverton. Nice and smooth. Starting to get some daylight outside. So I'm gonna unlock my hubs. We're at mile 26.1. Looks like a little old mill or something here. Good morning, everybody. Mile marker 27.8. I'm heading in towards Silverton. Still on the dirt road right now. Alpine Loop. Uh, yeah, that was kind of a crazy night. The winds were blowing like 30, 40 miles an hour. A big, not really a storm, but you know, the winds were just cranking up top. I camped out at like probably 11,000 something feet and it just was hard to breathe for some weird reason. So I started driving down the mountain and yeah, I could sleep better. It's weird, never experienced that. And we are coming down into the beautiful town of Silverton. Look at all these fall colors. They're just starting to change the last week. Pretty awesome trip. Would I recommend Lake City to Silverton for full-size truck campers? I cannot say that I would. Uh, I grew up building rock crawlers and doing a lot of crazy rock crawling and samurais and stuff, and that was pretty intense. Uh, it didn't help driving down in the dark, but I wouldn't want to push this truck camper too much harder than that, and I can't imagine having like a full-size truck camper. It'd be even crazier. Anyhow, that's my two cents. It's definitely not a chill dirt road at all. Anyhow, that's a wrap, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll do another one really soon. We'll see you next time. Peace, y'all.